In this video, you will learn how to take a screen snip and save it to your computer for submission. The screen snipping tool is now a standard feature in Windows operating systems beginning with the Vista version. To access this tool, click the Home Navigation tab at the bottom of your computer screen, formerly the Start or Home button, and begin typing Snipping Tool into the search field to quickly access the tool. Click on the Snipping Tool app to open it and begin snipping your screen. To take custom snips with only portions of the screen showing, you'll use the rectangular snip. To change the type of snip, click the chevron or drop down arrow next to the new tab. It's important to note that some computers have the mode instead of the drop down arrow in the latest updates and versions of the snipping tool. You'll want to make sure your selection mode or type is set to rectangular snip in either case. Select Rectangular Snip from the drop-down menu. To select the area you'd like to snip, align the crosshairs of the snipping tool so the center point is at the far upper left edge of where you want to create your snip. Click to begin selecting and drag the selection tool all the way to the bottom right edge of where you want to create your snip and release the button. Your snip will appear in a separate snip tool window for you to preview and edit. Once you are satisfied with your SNP, simply click the Save button and choose where you'd like to save the file on your computer. In this video, we'll show you how to take a screenshot and save it to your computer for submission later. There are a few different ways that you can do this. Uh, first, you can create a simple screen capture if you have just one monitor by just pressing the print screen key on your keyboard. If you're working with a machine that has two or more displays like we are here, you have to press and hold Control and Alt and then hit the print screen key on your keyboard in order to capture the image. Then just open a new Word document and over here in the uh, document just right click and select paste or you can just press and hold Control and hit V and that pastes it in for you like that too. Then just come up to File and choose Save As and then just save a destination on your computer to save your new screenshot. Then later on, you can upload it to Blackboard. 